Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Controversial Motorsport Fan Quotes. We've had a lot of discussion about recent news from Mick Schumacher joining the Ferrari Driver Academy to some unusual motorsport moments with racing past, but we've also had some more unusual opinions shared this week. Before we get into that, I just want to let you guys know about the Q&As we've been posting on the app. We asked fan questions to Cameron Chandock, Sebastian Ogier and many more at ASI earlier this month and they're all being posted on the Motorsport Fans app. App users can watch and listen to these interviews at least a week before they're posted on YouTube. So if you want early access and to be the first to hear about any future Q&As, download the app for free on Apple and Android. Now, without further ado, our first controversial quote comes from William RBF1. Why Mick Schumacher needs more than just a great name. It was hard to pick just one quote from this article. There are a lot of things that I think quite a few people have been supporting Mick in Formula 3 might disagree with, but it's also an honest look at his recent success and the challenges that lie ahead. William says that slow speed heroics in the KTM Expo and a run of F3 results with some fairly legitimate doubts behind them are not the makings of an F1 driver. There's lots of what can probably be described as hype surrounding Mick Schumacher after his Formula 3 success, but Williams outlines the pretty anonymous results he'd been getting for most of his Formula 3 career, and the questions some people were asking about the legitimacy of his results. But do you think he's being fair or is the hype surrounding Schumacher there for a valid reason? Take a look at the article on the app and let us know your thoughts in the comments. Our second quote comes from P. Crossling's Alan Prost, F1's most unlucky driver. A closer examination of his career shows that he should have won many more. Alan Prost's success and the, shall we say, honesty of said success is often called into question, particularly by those who happen to support a certain Brazilian driver. But there are few who argue he could have won more than he did. But Paul goes through Prost's career and points out places where he probably should have taken the championship had fortune gone another way. What do you think? Is Alan Post unlucky, or is that just the way Formula 1 goes sometimes? That's it for today's episode, but we really want to hear your thoughts. Have an opinion on the FDA, or Alan Post, or want to write an essay outlining exactly why Edson Senna should have taken the 1989 title. Head over to the app where all these conversations and more are happening, except the Senna one. Oddly, we haven't had as much of that as could be expected. If you want to change that, download the app, write your piece and take advantage of our new reaction feature to make your voice heard.